A massive cargo ship spending a third day stuck in Egypt's Suez Canal, clogging one of the busiest shipping routes in the world. Rescue crews now say it might take weeks to set it free. Today, multiple tugboats failed to dislodge the ever given. Officials say strong winds and a sandstorm knocked the ship off course. Shipping experts say the vessel's enormous size may have been a factor because the containers on deck can act as giant sails during windy conditions. All right, let me give you a sense of how big this ship is. Here's a comparison. The Evergreen is about 1,300 feet long. That is longer than the Eiffel Tower and almost as long as the Empire State Building. The situation not stopping armchair experts on Twitter from offering pop culture-inspired solutions. Why not just pivot like Ross from Friends? Or just keep backing in and out like Austin Powers? But beyond the laughs, this thing could pose a serious problem to the world's supply chain. NBC's Matt Bradley in Tel Aviv tonight to explain. Matt? Yeah, Ali, I mean, we can't overstate the importance of this waterway. There have been wars that have been fought over the Suez Canal. And, you know, there's about $3 billion worth of goods that normally would traverse this canal every single day. Uh, you know, about 50 different ships. And that's why the, this backup is causing some maybe more than 150 ships right now that are basically kind of in a holding pattern on either side of the canal. And that number is going to go up. Certainly some of those ships are going to start to be diverted around the Horn of Africa. But that adds about a week to that journey. In terms of what's being held up, it's just about everything. This is more than 10 percent of all global commerce passes through the Suez Canal. So we're talking about anything that comes out of Asia headed towards Europe or vice versa. So that includes oil. Uh, we are, there are even some 40 tankers that include live animals and water. All of that, of course, can't really just sit in the middle of the ocean for all that much longer. And that's why there's such a frantic effort to try to get this ship unmoored and out of the Suez Canal so the traffic can resume again. Now, the latest that we're hearing is that there's been a salvage effort. They're trying to decide what to do. It really looks as though they're going to have to start unloading some of these goods in order to get that ship freed. But that is going to be a very sensitive and very delicate operation in order not to make a very bad situation even worse. Ali? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.